Welcome to another episode of the Nothing and Everything podcast, where today we will talk a lot of nothing. And a little bit about everything. A little bit about everything. Let me go ahead and start by saying I actually have something else to do today. What? And that's why I don't have on a hat. I feel like I'm yeah, out of... This is... I'm out of uniform. You've broken kind of the N and E code. Well, I this did. This was like a thing from the very beginning. Right. And yeah, so I do feel kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah. I feel betrayed. A little bit. Betrayed. I feel a little bit of, uh, my God, do I, I don't even know you. Oh. Well, that's weird. <laughs> <clears throat> now that you're looking at it, all I want to do is like stare at your head. like. Mm. Well, don't. Looking at his hair. We have a show Why? to to put out. We have, yeah, we do. We got a lot of stuff to talk about Goodness today. Goodness gracious. <clears throat> I just like saying that. We really. It's just a blank. It's when a blank I look screen. at your iPad. They don't know. A, it's like turned on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a power screen. Oh, boy. So I want to talk about something that you touched on last week. Uh, the adult ADHD thing that you talked about. You remember talking about that? Yeah. What? Let's let's it talk came about up, that. Yeah, like I I think maybe the day that we recorded it came up again at my house because I don't know, my wife and I were talking about something and you know I was going a bunch of different directions or wasn't able, and I was like we just talked about this mm-hmm. you know like right and I was like you don't understand <laughs> what it's like. Oh man! To live here. Yeah, yeah. So, are, have you been diagnosed? Like, I haven't been diagnosed, but typically, when someone's talking to me, I have to stop everything and like look at them to to understand what it is they're saying. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly because what you're saying. If I'm doing anything else, it's just like I hear this noise in the background. I feel like I should look at them, but I'm not really sure. The noise in the background. Yeah, I can hear every almost everything else going on right. except that. Right. Like yesterday, <clears throat> I was no, it was uh, I don't know, someday. I was typing an email. I was reading an email, and uh, someone started talking to me, and and um, they asked me a question and just stopped. And I'm, I I hear them talking, but I have no clue what they're saying. Mm-hmm. And so, and then I realized the room got quiet, so I stopped and looked up, and I was like, what? And they're like, How long had they been (laughs) sitting there waiting? So I was like, you saw me pick my phone up and start reading an email. You should have stopped talking right then. That's not my fault. That's your fault. I completely relate. There's that piece, like the focusing on what somebody's saying and, like, if if they're distraction. You know, we have kids Mm -hmm. and family, whatever. That's difficult. I think the other one is, like, okay, I got five things on my to-do list. Mm -hmm. If it's in the office or even at the home, you know, even at the home. The home. (laughs) At the home. I You know, I could be working on something. And, you know, like, I mean, studying, looking up something, writing an email, Mm -hmm. and something makes me think of something else. Or I, ju- you know, I mean, it's literally like, oh, the shiny object, and I'm right. saying, oh, yeah. I'm going to go chase that for yeah. a few minutes. Oh yeah. Or a thought popped <laughs> in my head. This seems like it'd be more fun to do for the next two minutes. And then, you know, it's, I mean, it's the rabbit trail, and I don't know if that's atten- well, attention deficit disorder mm. type stuff. I mean, or it's yeah. just like, I, I, think I don't know what it is. I think that's why this show is so good and so widely, oh, wildly popular. Widely and wildly. I mean, widely because I mean, we have followers all over the earth. International. Now, right? We are interglobal. Or you could just say global. Well, but we're. If you're interglobal, what are you? <laughs> if you're global, you're around the world. If you're interglobal, it's within. The gl- <laughs> <laughs> we're only popular on planet Earth. <laughs> but we are, yes. Yeah, but it's <clears throat> expanded, hasn't it? I think someone in the International Space Station was listening. Is that right? <laughs> then we would be <clears throat> extra global. Extra global. Do we have an update? Yeah, we got uh, new country. New this countries. Is, sorry for the way his mic sounds. We noticed last week that we our voices sound so nice and crisp, and then when Austin talks, it's like <laughs> <laughs> our budget's too tight. Budget is tight. Yep. So there you go. We got uh, Egypt. Mm. What? Guatemala, UK. Ooh. Okay, hang on. Do you know someone in Egypt? Um. Yes. Really? No. Like, 
<laughs> no, I don't know anyone in Egypt. I do know people in Guatemala. I've been a couple times. Oh, I actually know someone in Guatemala. Do you? I do actually. I don't think they would be listening to the show, but nah, I'm like probably not. Been a couple times and yeah. UK, like they were probably picking up some of the Queen stuff that we were talking about. Without a doubt, like they were like, let's get some breaking news. And then we were talking about it. That breaking that news thing, I think, <laughs> really kind of needs to be our. <laughs> this just in. Yeah. You guys are never going to guess. <clears throat> it's two, two days late. <laughs> <laughs> we were like a week late. <laughs> this just in. Where else? Germany, Puerto Rico, India, Kenya, Mexico, Canada. That's pretty cool. That's it? That's all the countries? Oh, yeah, that definitely makes us interglobal. Cause we it's need to map a map on the wall and, like, every time, fill yeah, them in. Like Carmen San Diego. Wait, did we already talk Where about that? In what? I, I just got deja vu. About Carmen San Diego? I felt like we talked about putting the map on the wall and putting a pin where everyone... We might have talked about that, but I don't remember like it being a, a Carmen thread. San Diego reference. Well, it was like, you know, where... In the world right. is... Nothing again. Everything podcast. I've... A new jingle for the intra global. I think, I think there's some copyright issues that we probably, just we just probably. touched on. Sorry, uh, Mr. San Diego. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. San Diego. We apologize. Is it, wait, is, is Carmen, Carmen was a female, wasn't she? Is she? I don't know. The only Carmen I know a couple of Carmens. Uh, the main Carmen I know. <laughs> Who's the main Carmen? He has a last name though. I know What's where you go with name? this. I don't know. Look up the Christian contemporary Christian, Christian singer music. Carmen. Carmen. It's like Carmen was his first name. That's what it, I mean. That's what he went by. Yeah, he went by. But it was Carmen. Carmen something. I think it was like, I don't know. Carmen. <laughs> uh, I saw Carmen live multiple times back in the day. Really? Yeah. Did he sing? Did he do the Lazarus? The champion. Oh, oh, you saw him then? Oh yeah. Like, oh man. Carmelo Dominic Lit Lichiridello. Is that Dominic? <laughs> Is that Dominic? He you doesn't know how to spell Dominic. Dominic. D o m e n i c. Dominic. <laughs> but his name is Carmelo, and he changed it to Carmen. Why did he go? Yeah, would you? I, I think would, I would have checked. I'd have kept been the Carmelo. first Melo ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, no uh, one cares really about. Uh, we man. might we might resurrect his um his career like we did. I think you probably had a song name. Oh, Chris Gaines. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, Chris Gaines. Yeah. Yeah. So anybody that's listening, post pictures of your- Post a picture. Of your of, Carmen tape or are your you on the Carmen. Phone? What are you doing? Are you calling Carmen? My wife called. <laughs> what is happening? This is serious ADHD. Seriously, right here. this is out of control. He just answered he his phone, phone call. on live- t- uh, Wait, this are is we live? live? <laughs> Wait, breaking this news. Even television. Breaking news. Uh, Austin's taking a phone call. Who, let's take a <laughs> guess. Who was calling him? What if it were Carmen San Diego? It's Carmen saying, hey, I don't approve of y'all talking about me. Whatever. So Carmen San Diego was a woman? I don't know. What? Can you look that up? You're doing Carmen? the. Yeah. Carmen's it's a dude. No, no Carmen, Carmen San, San Diego. Diego, not Carmen the. Oh my gosh! Contemporary Christian music guy. My favorite one is. You remember the song about the soap operas? No. No, you should go listen to it. I'm not. Gonna, it's like I'm this pair. Uh, he uses all like the names. That's Carmen San Diego, right? Yeah, f- she's female, right? That is okay. Yeah, well, but you just said a second ago you were going to call. Ms. You apologized to Mr. San Diego. Mr. San Diego. So that's what I was saying. Was that's anchor, is that Carmen spouse? Esposa? <laughs> <laughs> is that Carmen? <laughs> I'm sorry. I used the wrong. Let's move on. <laughs> hey. Um, you got some notes over there, so let's So what we it. talked about last week, we introduced a new little bit that we're going to kind of work on. It's called the Trade Up Challenge. <clears throat> you remember that? I did right before we walked in here. Yeah. Okay. Right before we walked in. So you don't you don't care about the podcast enough to- No, I do to, care about okay, it. Because um, you consistently- Nope. Don't say it. I do. I do. Okay, just wondering. So, the trade up challenge. What we need to do this week? We need to clarify, clarify. Whoa, clarify, <laughs> clarify. <laughs> clarify. We I need like to clarify. clarify some rules here, okay? Because 
I was under the, under the impression that we would talk about this, you know, every week we'd spend a minute or so to kind of talking about what we traded up, what we actually got over the course of the week. See, I, that's why I wanted to wait. I was like, mm, these... Wait, so you didn't even do... These, you didn't on, trade anything? These rules are not clear. They hadn't been clarified yet. Mm. So I was like, let me just wait till the next episode, and then I'll start. Yep. So exactly <laughs> that's exactly what you were thinking? Yeah. So you have the same paper clip? <laughs> same paper clip. <laughs> it's actually not even the same paper It's not clip. even the same one. <laughs> you picked that up in my office. Shh. <laughs> But I'm going to do something with this. So this you week. traded your paper clip for my paper clip, right. but I even, never got your I'm paper even clip. Steven. Yep. I'm just stole it, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just a thief. You're not even Steven. You're like a flat Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> even Steven. I'm so <laughs> Which would you rather be? So, anyway, <clears throat> so this is, what's, this is what has happened. Austin has decided that he's going to uh, just trade up like crazy. Yeah. So uh, he's traded like five times already. And he actually has a, a pretty nice um, object right now. So you want to walk us through what you've done? Yeah, so I started off with a paperclip. And then I traded with for a pen. I went from pen to scissors, scissors to a Coke. And then Coke to Darren Mock race gloves. Darren Mock <laughs> racing gloves. Signed race gloves. So autographed Darren Mock racing gloves <clears throat> so here's here's the here's the problem um i actually don't know that there's a problem um it just seems as though i feel like it yeah like whoever the most famous person in your phone is i mean right can i call them and be like hey can i have something <laughs> it's like me calling up a friend saying hey i'm doing this little little thing on a podcast i got a paper clip what can you give me and he goes well hey i have you know a new shotgun that i'll give you or something and it's like, that's a weird trade. Like, why would anyone do that? But I guess yeah, that's the trade-up challenge. Yeah. So Did you trade your paperclip? I did trade. Yeah. I traded my paperclip for a nice calligraphy pen. <laughs> so You ever done calligraphy? I actually, I've done calligraphy. I did a, uh, a summer class, a summer thing called Summer Enhancement. I did the exact same thing. It, I don't think it was called Summer Enhancement, but like. So it wasn't summer school. Those were all... Because you failed calligraphy in yeah, the regular school no. year. <laughs> so it was like, you can take... Uh, it offered so many classes, and so um, I did oceanography and calligraphy. So it was kind of cool. So I learned how to write Really, calligraphy. calligraphy all has to do with the pen and the angle you hold it. Well, that's right. I mean, you know... That's right. The other stuff you can kind of work on on your own. Well, I, but I'm not... I'm not real frou-frou like that, so I can't sure. do all the little little circles and twists and turns and stuff. I just kind of write and look, and just hope that it looks it looks really good. Right. So, so I do have a nice. No one writes like that, anyways. No anymore. one writes like that. This is called the Elegant Writer, um, calligraphy pen. So, this time next week, I'm going to try to make this pen something better. So, this so, time next week, I'm going to try to make my paper clip right. So I guess what we're saying is there's no limit to the amount of times you can trade in okay. a week, right? I guess not. I mean, so if that's we'll just the keep going. Eventually, I'll come in with a deed to a house or something on Lake Norman. Man, that'd be nice. Did you know Lake Norman has a whole city up underneath it flooded? Really? Maybe now that you mentioned that, I may have heard that. I didn't know that. I don't like, know anything about it other than. Is that the actual lake? Like. The whole lake is a, was once a city. I think so. And now it's Maybe just... Maybe it's like a neighborhood or something. Like Atlantis? And they were like, hey... Yeah. <laughs> like, like underground Atlantis? Do people there's, still live down there? There's mermaids. <laughs> and, and people, yeah, they filmed Aquaman there. Yeah, it was incredible. So, yeah, so it's like... Um, I, I guess it was a, a town, a city, a small neighborhood. I don't know, something like that. And they were like, hey, we're going to... Before, it was just called Norman. <laughs> and then it flooded and they called it Lake Norman. Where do you live? Norman, North Norman, Carolina? Norman, North Carolina. Now where do you live? Lake, Lake Norman, Norman. <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> so, yeah, so it just, um, yeah, they were like, hey, we're going to flood this, so get out. Like, intentionally? Yeah. It wasn't like a hurricane came through and everybody was like, ah. Nah. Instead, it was like, you better get your stuff together. I think they opened up the dam and all the water came Goodness in. Goodness gracious. I think, but I don't know. That's unfortunate. I'd be interested to know more about that. I'm sure some of our listeners could keep us in. I'm sure. <clears throat> you know, have, have you ever... Uh, you know, over the weekend, I was uh, looking through the socials, looking on Facebook, mm -hmm. and um, mm. I found somebody that I, I that I knew like in high school, 
right? So I added them as a friend. Yep. And they accepted my friend request. And then I started thinking, what's the appropriate thing to do next? Wait, you requested them or they requested you? Well, either way. Yeah. Added a friend from someone I haven't seen in 25 years. Okay. Plus. Well, I guess it depends on whether or not you care about what they're doing. So, Or you want them to be able to see, I don't know. I didn't turn around and be like, hey, how's life? How are things going? Yeah, great to know you're still alive. Yeah, because really, I hate when people do that to me. When people say, hey, man, how's life? And I'm like, well, I, you know, it's been 25 plus years. You want me to go through all A of this? A little bit or, has changed, yeah. Or you just want me to say, hey, I'm the same are, guy I was. <laughs> yeah. Sarah named the ladies in the lunchroom. Seriously? That's how I envisioned you That's in your you high school career. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad. <laughs> so I, I just wonder, like, what is the appropriate thing to do? Is it is it appropriate to reach out and say, hey, I haven't seen you in a long time? Or do you do the, hey, long time, no see. How are things? Your family looks beautiful, which means I completely stalked you over the past few minutes before I actually said mm. something to you. Um, You're trying to do your... What would be the appropriate response at that point? I'm stumped. And do you just add them as a friend because I don't, you just want them to see you? Right. And then your feed gets all clogged up because I, you know, yeah, I guess it depends on like, A, what your relationship was and then B, how much do you care about catching up and looking at their life and seeing, I mean, right. that, that's kind of the whole point. Right. Versus like, you know, hey, we're friends on Facebook. I can see what you're doing. Or post a picture of smoked meat or whatever, you know, like. <laughs> No, I'm just saying. I feel like you're taking a lot of shots I'm at me today. I'm not taking yeah. shots at you. Yeah. No, not at all. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. Because I'm also like, you know, probably a little bit of a different person than I was, you know. Well, like yeah, we certainly. 25, We're all different than we were back then, so it's just like. But, like, it's, but it can be cool because sometimes you be like, oh, I didn't know you were there or I didn't. I had that happen to me like somebody like uh, when I was in California. <clears throat> I mean, this has been 12, 13 years ago. They were out there as well, or two or three people had moved out to the West Coast. And it's kind of like, hey, I'm nine hours away. We should, and I'm like, well, we're not really that close. But, right. And we weren't really that close 25 years ago, so maybe not. I don't know, you know? Yeah, I always wonder. So what, what did you do? I just was like, hey, welcome to my feed. <laughs> I didn't even say that. I was just like, in my mind, I'm <laughs> to like, my feed. but I had to check myself, like, do I just want them to see me and all the stuff I'm doing? Or do I want to really you know catch up with that person right i mean if you're listening and i just added you as a friend i really do enjoy your friendship and that is the social dilemma <clears throat> that is that is a that is a big time dilemma <laughs> so yeah I, I don't know what the uh the appropriate response is is to be on something like that because i mean like if you just try to pick up where you left off like there was a friend of mine that i that I pick up where you left off like, <laughs> I mean, like right. hey i'll meet you after <laughs> football practice like Right from twenty five years ago, right. yeah. I don't. I, I don't know what the answer is. I don't know what the answer is. I, I don't. These either. are just these are just questions, man. I just want to just pose a question for you and you know see where it goes. So it didn't really go anywhere. Yeah, but that's what, my fault. So. What about what about like social cues? Like, do you do you feel like you pick up social cues like pretty good? I do, but you know, like yeah, that feels kind of pride. You're like, oh, I, I'm great socially. Right. It's. I think I do. I, I think people, would, you know, I can kind of read people pretty well yeah. or read situations. <clears throat> and that's the one. Is like, you know, you can, it's easier to point out people who can't. <laughs> like that guy has right. no social awareness like or that no lady clue that has I'm... no idea that this conversation is over. <laughs> and, that's or, the, you know. That's the, that's the one. <laughs> oh, yeah. When you're trying to leave a conversation. And you're just like. And you drop every hint. Well, it's good to see you. Or man, <laughs> and was, they just hate. They it just was good to talk to you. Yeah, it really was. It really was. And you did. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll see you next time. When? When is next time? When will I see mm. you again? You know. Yeah, I feel. I I would like to think that I'm socially aware, but maybe the people who think that they are are the least aware. You know, I got a buddy of mine, and he's a he's one of my closest friends, <clears throat> and. I hope this isn't embarrassing to him. Uh -oh. But every now and then when I hang up the phone with him, I'm like, all right, man, I'll catch up with you. He's like, yep, man, I hope you have a good day. And I pray everything goes well for you today. And, like, he's, like, legit um, 
uh, he's a very caring yeah. kind of person. Very encouraging. Legit, everything yeah. he says, very encouraging. He's, genuine. He's yeah. very genuine, very sincere. Sincere. Legit. But sometimes it's hard to go off the phone with him. I just <laughs> laugh, you know. And and he knows this, so I'm like, hey, just, you know, I don't know, hang out. But then on the flip side of that, like my wife, she'll be talking to me on the phone, and I say, all right, love you. You know, you know I love you too. All right, bye. And she just sets the phone down. She doesn't. She doesn't hit the hang. Because if you don't hang up, if you don't hang up, so then y'all still so hanging out. I was like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see what she's doing. So she's like washing dishes, she's watching TV, she's doing all kinds of stuff, and I'm like, so I'll hang up and call her back, and be like, Hey, but I've been on the phone for the past <laughs> ten minutes, listening to you, just live your life. Like, why don't you? First of all, outside of my <laughs> wife and my children, and you know, FaceTime has changed a whole lot. I detest talking on the phone. Oh yeah, like I mean, there's a couple guys on staff that know that now, and they just I know call, that, and I'm like, I'm not answering the phone. I try to call you sometimes. I know <laughs> because like I'll talk to you, but then I'm just not a phone. To- I don't know what it is. I just don't like talking on the phone. I feel like you're the kind of guy that you get home from work, you set your phone down like in your bedroom or something like that, like away from you, and you go out and hang out with your family, which is great and admirable. Sometimes, but I'm guilty of messing around on it. But, but I just if- don't like talking on the phone. But then, I, like, I'll have something I want to talk about, and it's too much to text. <laughs> We've talked about this before. <laughs> We've talked about this before. <clears throat> so I'll call you, and then you're like, I'm know, like, what are you annoyed. doing? Annoyed, I know. I'm like, how I is your phone not with you? It is 2022. My phone is never apart from me. Really? I always have my phone. I'm, like, always accessible, which I know is a problem. I struggle with the same thing. Yeah, I do the same thing. I don't think you struggle with that. No, I do struggle. You're really good about that. Well, in well, my it, book. It feels internally, I feel like, because I can just, you know, waste time, scroll, you know, do stupid stuff. It's just the actual act of talking on the phone. You know, like, I yeah. think sometimes instead of, like, listening to a podcast or doing something productive on the commute, which I only drop just 20 minutes, you know, maybe I should make some phone calls or catch up. And I do every once in a while. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, even if it's, like, somebody you like. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like oh, I don't know why I hate talking yeah. on the phone. I don't know. That's, uh, I'd rather know. sit down and talk personally, or shoot a text and be done with it and be like, hey, yeah, I don't mind the whole text thing. But the problem is, if it's a long conversation, yeah. then you know, as we're planning for, I'm like, what do you mean by that? As we're planning episodes and stuff, you I know, know. It's like it's one call, and that's probably some of our talk. best banter when we're just on the phone and you're. I know we could just record it. that, <clears throat> and it's just should. us. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um. Yeah, there's a lot of people, I think, that don't know about social cues. It's unfortunate, so, and it's awkward. Yeah, yeah, it, it is it is bad. And, um, I, yeah, I don't know how to help people with that. Uh, it's difficult because you just kind of have to end it. Not the, not the relationship, <laughs> not the life I'm or never, the relationship. I'm never speaking to yeah. you again. <laughs> you don't know how to say it. You don't it's know how not to hang you, up it's in me. real life. I need to see other people. It's not you. It's, I, it's just like, all right, I got to go. Like. Yeah. You know, you just got to shut it down. Yeah. You know, like sometimes on Sundays, like, uh, we, we all sit in the lobby. Well, we're not sitting, but we're all in the lobby, and, and we want to greet people as sure. they come out, as they're leaving, you know, because for the most part, there are some people that I'll see on a regular basis, like our staff and, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. But then there's people who I'll only see on Sundays. I might see them again on Wednesday, Wednesday night or whatever, but so I want to catch up with them. Yep. And by catching up, I mean – Hey man, hope you're having a great week. Hope this, hope that, whatever, and kind of move on. Like if I, if I feel like, well, obviously I can't catch up too long, or if someone has like a, a hard time understanding that, hey, this is what I'm trying to do <laughs> right now, then it makes it like, mm-hmm. you know, someone wants to stop and talk about something, which is fine. I don't mind stopping and talking about stuff, but every now and then it, it would be, it would be good. Kind of have to give them a little, <clears throat> yeah, the right hand of fellowship and the left hand and the left hand of moving, moving along. Yeah. Move it or lose it. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. You know, the, the other the other social thing that I think that um, – I don't know why we're talking about this social stuff, but I just – feel real self-conscious Well, now. I just have these thoughts in my head, I, these thoughts that I think about, so I try to jot them down so we can talk about it because I, I wonder if, I, if, I, if I'm the only one that thinks this. So, <laughs> you, ever, you ever talk to someone and, like, they have something on their face or whatever – that's all you can. And you don't tell them. Oh, right then I just feel like I have like something. You, ha- I've been looking at. I've been looking at your head because you don't have a hat on. Hat on. on. <laughs> Are you the guy that tells someone, "Hey, man, you got you got." A it would depend on the relationship. 
I mean, if it were like one of you guys, I would be like, hey, man, you got something in your teeth. And <laughs> I, I would, I would yeah. want somebody to tell me right, that. Right, right. But if, like, it's just the stranger, or we've got a super casual, mm-hmm. I'd be like, man, Joker's got a book See, in nose. See, I, I would tell, tell anybody. Him. You would? I would. Man. I would. Because I don't like I want to come up with different scenarios now to see. Like, you would All just right. tell them. I'd be like, hey, bro, you got, you got a little something, something right there. You got a bat in a cave. Or the clouds are, clouds are, or the sky's cloudy, or whatever, you know. I like bat in the cave. Yeah. Is I, it a stalagmite or a stalactite? Uh, well, what's, <clears throat> what's one goes up, one goes down. It could be the one. A stalagmite is on the ground. Yeah. It might reach the top. Ooh. A stalactite is top on the ceiling coming down. Hold tight, stalactite. See, I just learned top. this is educational because hey, I didn't even know that. This is. This I've is, always wondered. I don't know the difference. This is what we do at the Nothing and Everything podcast. Stalagmite, stalactite. Stalag I like the ba- might might reach to the top. Like you might want to reach in there and get that bat out of your nose. <laughs> you stalag might want to reach up there. <laughs> stalag might want to get. That. <laughs> uh, I, that's, I would tell people. Yeah. Especially because I mean it could be embarrassing, you know, if it's like you're having a conversation. Like I, the other I'm trying day, to think of like yeah. Go the ahead. Other day I was having a conversation with somebody, <laughs> and you know I get in the car. And I'm driving off, and I look in the mirror, and I realize I got one of those little eye, the little corner mm-hmm. eye, little you know, eye boogers, yeah, an eye booger, and I'm I, like, and I bet, and I'm like, I've been talking to like ten people, no <sighs> one said anything to me. Why? Why didn't they say something to me? I don't. Yeah, I mean, I, I would appreciate if somebody said it to me, right. but like, you know, I, I guess the sweet old lady, or you know, just I don't know, is that awkward? Hey, you. I mean. It's going to be something in your nose or something in your teeth. Right. Be like, ah, uh, you got a you got a tattoo on your face. Like, you know, you got a Sharpie yeah. mark. I mean, they're going to probably know that. Right, so the other right. two are like I don't know, man. It feels it feels like you've crossed the line when I, just, I when I I'm just, talking about yeah. what's going on in your nasal cavities. <laughs> right. I no, I don't know. I I think it's okay cuz if I'm going someplace important or if I'm about to have a very important conversation and I'm talking like with you before yeah. I walk into it, I'd want to know Hey, bro, you got a little something. You know, you got to. You, you might want to step in the men's room and clean that up a little bit. You know, I I would That's be good though. That's I would be very thankful for for you saying that. I would me. be thankful for somebody saying it to me. I just feel a, a little less comfortable saying to somebody who I'm. You know, I don't really know. I don't know that well. You know, they I, might appreciate it, but they might be like, "Oh gosh, or, don't." Or they're so embarrassed. Well, yeah. that or like they're so embarrassed that you never talk to them ever again. But because like, oh, but I'm like, okay with that because if it's <laughs> but I just saved you from further embarrassment. So when you think, oh, man, you know that guy really helped me out. Seriously. One day you'll be like, man, You just go around out. looking for stuff now. Yeah. If you want to know how you look on a Sunday, ask Gerald. Ask your me. Man. I'll be like, hey, you got, got you got a little something. But, you know, like, I'm so – I'm always thinking about it. Like something in my nose or something, you know, in my teeth or whatever. You know, I've, I've – um, I started keeping toothpicks in my truck. Now, part of it is because I like uh, Coach Bauckham so much. <laughs> you, you know, you've never seen Coach Bauckham with that. I think with he Adam sleeps with a toothpick. Ooh, yeah, that's dangerous. It, it is dangerous, Coach. You ought to stop doing that. But, <laughs> 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 but um, he always has a toothpick in. Yeah. I wonder if his is like the mint kind. You ever had those mint I like have. The cinnamon toothpicks? Yeah, those are really good. Do you use toothpicks like at <laughs> like a restaurant? Uh, uh, you know, it depends on what's going on. Because if I walk out of there with something. You know, I feel like I got something going on. But if it's not individually wrapped, it ain't for me. Oh, you don't like them coming out of the little little no, turn style? No, because someone put them in there. I don't know who did. <laughs> he thought I a lot about this. I can't trust, man. I got trust You issues. do have trust issues with people and issues. germs. Yep. I feel like people just don't care about stuff anymore. <laughs> they don't care about your feelings. They don't they care don't about care my about. feelings. You know, <laughs> the other day, prime example, I went through... A restaurant, and um, we got some food to go. So we went to the drive-through, and the gentleman that was giving us food, like I was looking at my wife, and he was over here, and he ju- he was just holding the food like this, and like didn't even say, yeah. "Oh, here here's your food," or "Hope you have a good day," or blah yeah, blah. Thanks a lot. Just 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 standing there. And so I'm like, oh, I look back, oh, hey, I'm, man, I'm sorry. So I started getting the food, and and he gave me five drinks. I have five people in the car, my family, right? And then no straws. So I was like, um, can I get some straws? 
So he hands me four straws. So I get the four straws and then pass the straws out. And I was like, um, I had five drinks. So he grabs another drink that's for the person behind me. <laughs> tries to get to me. I was like, no, 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 no. I need oh, another straw. Oh, boy. And it's like he just didn't care at all. It's a lack of attention to detail. It's not like yeah. you, don't, you don't have to care that much. Just care a little bit. Yeah. Just care a little bit. That's just, basic math, too. Five drinks, five uh, straws. Just more social cues. And then I left that establishment. I had no mm. sauce. I like the sauce. I like to dip all blow my them up. And, mm. and, no, I did not blow them up. I did not go and say anything on the socials. I left it alone. I guess good now, for you. But now I guess I'm saying. That was a good. But, I didn't but you say, didn't say who they are. So who we they don't are, know. So, I'm over here so thinking. You don't, hmm, you don't know. know. You don't know. So. You were kind of hoping that guy had something on his face. You could say something to him. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, man. Seriously. What's going on with that? Yeah. No, I don't know. <laughs> so are you going to do a trade this week or what? I'm, I'm, I'm already thinking about it. I hope, hope I remember. I feel like you're not going to you're not gonna participate. In but see, what will happen is with the ADHD stuff is I'll get home and I'll take my, you know, the paper clips in my pocket right now. I'll take it out and I seriously will be like, why is that paper clip in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. Why do I have a paper clip in my pocket? That's exactly how it will work. And that's. Like early onset Alzheimer's or something. I don't know that I can't remember. I'm you don't like, have like a routine, like you put all your stuff in a certain spot so you'll know exactly what it's there for. No, I so, do. You know, oh, but if there's something unusual like that, like oh. you know, like all of a sudden, you know, I might have a button or an extra key or something. I'm like, what in the world? I don't know what that is. Mm. And then I have to recount. And be like, oh boy, this is going to be a long day for me to sit here and think. And then someone's why talking to that? you, and you're like, stop talking to me. I'm trying to remember why I have this <laughs> paperclip in my you don't pocket. Understand how difficult this is. So. Yeah, I'm gonna okay. do my best. <clears throat> I Someone guess it'll be really difficult because that paperclip will be something different every week. You're like, why do I have a why, magnifying? Why do I pull a flamingo out of my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> now you're just being ridiculous. Yeah. So, all right. Well, that was a great episode today, man. It <laughs> we did a was. whole lot of walking in circles. Yep. I think that's why it works so well. That's why it works so well. We don't need medication or whatever. Like this is just yeah. natural. So I think some people don't quite know that we're back yet. So, yeah, how do we let them know though? Spread the word. Seriously, share, like. People, spread the word. We're on all the socials, most of them. Are we on TikTok yet? Hmm. Hmm. And then like it's gonna happen. Well, we don't want China to get all of our trade up <gasps> information. <laughs> Those are our secrets. Those are kind of secret. Oh, gosh. All right. <laughs> is I think this, that's it. Is this one of those times where I'm, like, not hanging up Yeah, the you're not getting the social cue that the podcast is over. Oh, the podcast is over. <laughs> See you next time. <laughs>